Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to get right to this because I don't want this to be a hugely long video and I could talk about these plays forever. So I'm going to try to stick to my quick, short little reviews of these. Um, overall, your task is to choose two of these plays. Um, you have until November to get your hands on some copies of them, but don't wait too long because sometimes you order something and you get it the next day. And other times you order something and it takes five or six weeks. So I'm, that's why I'm giving you all this information now so you have time. We're gonna get to these plays in November. They're, it's your choice, you're choosing two of them. Um, they're all wonderful, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, and here we go, ready? Okay, in no particular order. One of your choices is a play by a transgender playwright named Taylor Mack. It's called Here. Um, it is a fantastic play. Taylor Mack refers to it as absurd realism. So it's like a really strange, it's, it's realism, but absurd. Um, it's a crazy family. Um, there is a teenage character in the family who is going through a transgender um, identity shift. There is an older brother in the family who is just coming home from war overseas. There is an abusive father in the family who just um, underwent a massive stroke and is now having to be taken care of by the family. Um, which is a real weird dynamic shift. And the mother character in the family is just, oh my goodness, I would need a lot more time to explain it to you. But it's a fantastic play. I, I highly recommend here. Okay. This play is by um, a female playwright named Amy Herzog. It was a nominee for a Pulitzer Prize. Um, it's called 4,000 Miles. It's about a young man in his early 20s and his grandmother in her early 90s. Um, he ends up moving in with her for a little while after experiencing the death of his friend. And it's just, um, it's sort of like a sweet, simple play. And sometimes I just think those are kind of the best. Um, you can get a lot done in a sweet, simple play. There are really funny moments. Um, both characters are sort of, feeling on the outside of things and I think it's just it's a really nicely written um, interesting and beautiful piece 4,000 miles this play is called disgraced it won the um, it won the 2013 Pulitzer Prize it's by uh, playwright Ayad Akhtar. He is a Muslim American playwright. Um, oh, I should have mentioned if I hadn't already that all of these playwrights are alive and still here and writing. They are contemporary, beautiful, amazing playwrights. So excited to, to teach some living, breathing, diverse playwrights. Anyway, this play is definitely um, exploring what it means to be a Muslim in America post 9-11. Um, I think it's very jolting, it's bold, it's controversial. I think it is, it really makes you think um, there are no easy answers in this play. I'm fascinated by this play. I couldn't put it down. I want to talk to someone about this play. So someone read this and talk to me about it because there's like no easy answers here. Hmm. Okay. That's disgraced. Okay, next up, um, this play is called Pipeline. It's by Dominique Morisot. It is uh, very relevant for our times. Um, it is about a young man who, um, a young black man in America today whose mother is worried about him. She sends him to a private high school to try to um, give him a leg up, but we see his struggle there um, in that community. This play deals with a very urgent issue of the concept of like the school to prison pipeline 
in our country. Um, lots of heavy questions dealt with in this play. Beautifully written. Um, really important issues. Um, just a really powerful, powerful piece by a contemporary black female playwright, Dominique Morisot. Okay, highly recommended. These are all highly recommended. Um, all right, another play, Eurydice by Sarah Rule. Um, I couldn't leave out Sarah Rule. She is a, a very it playwright right now. I know probably a lot of you have, know someone who's maybe been involved in a production of Eurydice. Um, it's a really neat play. Um, right now we're dealing with a lot of realism in, in this semester currently, and this is definitely not a realist play, so it might be something interesting to delve into. Um, Rule is in reimagining the classic myth of Orpheus um, through the eyes of its, of its female heroine, Eurydice, and who needs to journey to the underworld. Um, and it's really a beautiful story about um, memory and about love and loss, and it's quite intriguing. Um, it's very poetic, a very beautifully written, um, an interesting play to read and think about. And uh, there you go, Eurydice. Okay, Top Girls by Carol Churchill. This is a, a, definitely a feminist piece. Um, Kind of a, quite a 1980s piece, um, and it is um, really well crafted, really well written. Um, if, especially if you are a female actor, there are amazing scenes to pull from. If you ever are looking for scenes for an acting class, I mean, this is your play to go to. It's fabulously written. Um, Anyway, I don't want to give away too much about the plot here, but it's basically about um, a woman who is rising, rising, rising in her career and some of the things that she has to give up and the choices she has to make in order to be able to do that as a woman. And um, it also has a lot to do with class and class structure. It's a British play. Um, there's definitely some realist scenes, but then there's these other scenes where the protagonist is having lunch with famous women from like all these different time periods and stuff and they're all just like meeting at a restaurant for lunch even though they're um sorry a bug just flew right by me oh. um so it's really interesting it's gritty um it's kind of weird but then there's also all these scenes where it's super normal it's a great play um i love it so top girls and then last but not least, this is called The Laramie Project. Um, you'll see if you go like Googling around for this, there's also a play called The Laramie Project 10 years later. This copy of it that I have has them both in the same edition. You only need to look for The Laramie Project, which was the first play. Um, this is a really interesting piece of theater. It's about... Um, the real life story of Matthew Shepard, who was brutally murdered um, in a hate crime for being a gay man um, about uh, 20 years ago. This happened and it rocked our country and it was a huge story. And this theater group went in a pretty groundbreaking way. They went to Laramie, Wyoming. Oh, sorry, okay. um, they went to Laramie, Wyoming, where um, he was killed and they interviewed Mama. all the residents there. Sorry, we have a guest here. Um, and they, what they did was they didn't create a script for this. They didn't fictionalize it at all. They took all the interviews that they did and they basically just typed them up and they chose a very like powerful order in which to put them. And then that became the play, The Laramie Project. So there's nothing fiction here. It's just like the real words of these people from this town, people that knew Matthew Shepard, people that knew the people who killed Matthew Shepard. It's a fascinating, uh, yeah. it's, I know, that's me, and there's, yeah. do you want to say hello? Hello. There's my daughter. Um, and so the Laramie Project, I, I, it rocks me. This play is so um, special and important, and it's a really interesting way of making theater, I think, so anyway. Those are the seven possibilities. You're choosing two. Um, certainly you can obviously also just go on Google and look these up yourself and, and help to 
you know, help make it yourself an informed choice in that way as well. Um, but make the choice, buy the copies of the plays. Please let me know by email um, which two of these are your choices, just so I know that you're on track. And um, I'm just curious as to what your choices are. I'm curious to know. And yeah, that's that's that. Okay, make your choice. Okay, see you soon on the internet. Bye.